so in this live I'm um, just basically going to be showing you how to set up the key auth C sharp example um, it's really simple I was just gonna make a video on this but I was having video issues so I decided just to do it live since it's really easy as well um, so to get started all you gotta do is come over to github.com slash key auth slash key auth dash C sharp dash example come over here to the code click on code and then come down here to download a zip once you download the actual zip file um, you can open it up click on window form example and then come down here to loader.sln and then just open that up um, once you have that opened um, it should look like this um, you also want to make sure that you have your own form if you are creating your own open as well um, so this is mine what you want to make sure that you do is come over to solution explorer you want to right click on the name you want to come down to add and then click on class and for the class name you just want to make sure you call it keyauth.cs Now that you have this created, you want to come back to the example. In the example, go back to your project and do Control A, Control V, and this will paste it. And if you go all the way up top, you should have one error. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but here on line 15, using System Windows, um, just do dot forms after that, and that will clear that issue. Um, if you have an error with the runtime serialization, all you have to do is copy this, come over to project, manage NuGet packages, make sure that your package source is set to all, come over here to browse, control V, and then just paste that in, and then it will be the first one um, that actually loads and you just click it and then make sure you click on install I already have it installed so I don't need to do it now double click on your form this will get you the load form event which we will need later head back over to the example and right click login and then view code we want to copy these four static strings so just go ahead and do that now go back to your code and you can paste this just about anywhere I usually paste it here head back to the example copy this one line of code go back and paste it in yours as well and then underneath or anywhere you want really just use key off and that's pretty much all you need to do for that now you need to go over to the website and if you don't have a new form or new application created just go ahead and do that and then we're just going to get this information so we need the application selected and then we can get the secret And then lastly, we can get the owner ID. Is if we come over here, click on this icon, click on account settings, double click this, and there's your owner ID. Now you don't have to worry about the version because the version is basically set at a default. So unless you change it, you shouldn't have any worries. Um, now in the event of the um, form one load, you want to do kiosk app dot init. This is basically going to check all the settings that you have for Kiosk. Um, and the way I have this set up, this section right here is for login, this is for register, and then this is login with key only. Um, so if you double click login, you can do this one of two ways. The first way being Kiosk app.login and then text box one dot text and then text box to dot text and there you go that's your login or you can do it this way you can do try and then catch 
and then you can put a response here you know like for failed um, if you want to don't really have to um this is kind of a good replacement since we don't use if else statements anymore so you can do try and catch uh, but again you don't need to so I'm just going to do the one line um, and now for the register I have it as text box 4 3 and 5 um, let's move this real quick so it's not out of order 3 4 5 so on register we do key auth f dot register and then text box 3 dot text text box 4 dot text and then text box 5 dot text Jeez. and then that's all you need for register and again you can also do the um, the same exact thing um, that you did on the login for the register with the uh, the try and catch statements if you want to um, but again it's not it's not really needed um, and then lastly I have text box 6 so we can just go ahead and do key auth f dot license and then this would be text box six dot six. And then that's pretty much how you do the login, um, the register, as well as the key only. That's pretty much the entire setup. There really isn't more to it. Um, obviously, if you look at the example, there's all this code that you can use for the webhooks, download functions, um, how to get a variable. Um, and then if you come down here, you can also set it up to check if the user is blacklisted or not. Um, you can do user upgrade. Come and then if you go here to main, you can right click this and then view code. Main will actually show you um, the key expiry, the subscription, you can, it shows you how to actually set up the chat room. I will probably do a video on that later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy this, uh, live for this actual setup. I'll probably not do lives again, unless it's actually requested. I only did it this time because I actually had to make the video on the setup, but, um, I hope that you actually enjoyed it. Hello there, Mask. Um, I hope you enjoy this. And if you have any questions or would like to see anything else, just comment down below and let me know. And I will try to make it when I can.